chapter 6 bipolar transistor we're going to make a connector current a connector curves the bipolar transistor consists of three layer of differently doped npn region or pnp region depending upon the dopants it's classified as pnp or npn now it forms layers of three kind of bias region now we can take taken wire contact out of all the three regions that's called emitter base and collector the middle one is called the base and the down one is the emitter and the output which we connect is called the collector now the functional difference between pn pn and pn transistor is the proper polarity of the biasing when operating for any state of the operation the current direction and the voltage polarity of the transistor is exactly opposite to each other this were uh, these are the devices which act as the current control current regulators now particular thing is that depending on the biasing voltage when between the emitter and the base we control the collector current i'm sorry we control the emitter current depending upon the base and collector and the small current that controls the main current goes from the base to emitter or from emitter to base once and again depends upon the kind of transistor BNP or the NPN now bipolar transistor are called bipolar because of the main flow of current is or electron take place in two types of material P and N as the main current goes from the emitter to collector or vice versa the two have charge carrier electrons and holes comprise their main current through the transistor as we can see that the controlling current and the controlled current always mesh together through the emitter wire and their electrons always flow against the direction of the transistor's arrow. This is the first and foremost rule in transistor. The collector current is primarily, primarily limited by the base current regardless of the amount of the voltage applied to push it. Now these are the circuits we are going to make for the PN, PN and PN. Now this will be the settings for the NPN transistor. We will give a DC sweep to the primary sweep of 0 to 10 volt for VCCN. The VCCN is this one over here. Now and second setting is the secondary sweep. This will be given for the VSN for 0 to 10 volt. This is the VSN. So this one is the source. This one is collector. So this is the base. Now when we give the sweep, these are the currents. The green one is the IC, the collector current, and the red one is the base current. And for the different points, we get different values from the graph. Now this is the sweep setting for PNP. We give same primary sweep and secondary sweep of 10 volts, 10 volt each for VCCP and VSP. Now these are the collector current and the base current. Green one is the collector current. The dire direction is changed as the PNP or NPN. There's a difference in the collector current. Thank you. This project we will study about the relationship of the PNP and NPN diode. Please now add the new project. Now in the new project, name it again sector 6, bipolar transistor, open the new project, name it again, chapter 6, bipolar transistor, Create the brand project. Select uh, libraries. Pick the libraries like I don't know. Select all libraries. Select electrical components. Register. Let's register for the base. So, please.
we have the VPN, VPN, and VPN on the boat circuit on the same page. So, you need to register for the biasing. These are registered for the biasing. So, like the Q2 and 3906 and 3904. It's in the eval library. 3904 is the NPN transistor and 061 is the PNP transistor. Select on the circuit, connect to the base register. Now, select the source library. We need to give the bias, we need a DC bias for the source and for the collector. Select the VDC. So this one is the bus voltage for the source. One other one for the collector. Put the collector on. Same for the PNP circuit. One for the source and the other one collector. Connect all circuit components. Make sure they're connected well. Emitter of the PNP and NPN and the ground to the all the biasing circuit and the voltage sources connect to the ground the voltage sources. I think for the NPN. So select like the variable C1 in the graph. We are interested in uh, see the output curves. So scroll up. Select ICQ1. This one is the current IC. And on the y axis, select the ID. So we have the IB and IC, the IB is in red color, IC, the current passing to collector is the green one and the current passing to the base is the red one. Now put the cursor, select the points, select the points on the IC one. So if you select the point of 1548, it's the green one, and the blue one is the two. Then go back. You want us to do the same simulation for the circuit. Do the DC speed for the PNP. Zero to ten for primary and ten to two for secondary. Do the simulation. We will get the uh, schematic so simulation. Now select the output variables you wanna go for it. Select the base base current and the collector current. This one is the collector current. I see on the y axis with the base color IBQ1. 
So the red one is the base color. Select it. The cursor for display so that you can see the values of the point. Right now, value you can see in the down right hand side. You see the values. Note the values you want to go from here. This will show the values at a particular point in the graph. Once we are making the circuit, so we will need to give the appropriate value to the compound. We give the voltage source and the zero volt DC from the base circuit. And the resistor of bias will be 100 volts. So give, give the 100k to the resistor as we run at the bias. Name the news profile as an uh, PMQ. First of all, we are going to analyze the PMP canister. So, NPM, sorry, NPM. Set the simulation profiles for the primary sweep and the secondary sweep. The primary sweep will be from 0 to 10 volt incremental for 1 inch. And secondary. Lovely. Make the skin 